Falota case, how are you doing today? Have you been trying to install your own Docker desktop? Uh, let's go through the installation together. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is for you to go to your web browser. Let's check together. Let's check Docker desktop installation. So Docker desktop. It's okay. So we are going to see different um, options, you know, different options available where you are going to download the application. But I think that the best one is for you to actually go to their website directly. Um, so let's just click on that. So we'll see different options. Uh, fastest way to do this. So, so many things in here. Okay. So download and install Docker. So let's follow that route. So here is going to be explaining to us how we're going to do it. It's really nothing much. Um, you know your machine. If you are on Mac OS, uh, Microsoft OS, or with Linux, whichever you are using. So just scroll down. Take some time to probably read through. Um, I'm on Mac right now. So I'm going to click on Docker Desktop for Mac. So if yours is a Windows, it's Windows, you can click on that. And if you're using Linux, you can click on that. So I'm going to click on the De um, Mac OS version. So Docker Desktop for Mac with Apple, Docker Desktop for um, with Intel chips. So on getting to this page, you will see which one is your machine if you have the machine with apple silicon or you have the machine with um, intel chips i have the one with apple silicon so i'm going to click on that but before i click on that um, i think it's good for you to look at the installation package so that it will be easy there's nothing much like i said after you have downloaded you wait for it to download you double click on the image and open the installer uh -huh. Then you drag the application into the uh, in, you, you drag the icon into the application folder, and that's it. So if you want to start it, you click on that icon that you already dragged into your application folder, and you are up and running. It's automatic, really. The installation is automatic. So the summary is there. So let's go back up and um, click on my own Apple Silicon version. So we we'll give it time. We wait for it to download. Docker installation is not something that is really um, stressful or um, that takes time. It doesn't take time. Before you know it, you are up and running. It's actually a very good application. It helps you to, you know, contain your applications in a in an environment that doesn't interfere or disturb your. Oh yes, um, like one of my friends used to do that, say that um, he has made the mistake before that he tra was trying to um, download his um, hair flow on his system directly or um, more. That's a big mistake to make. It's better to use your hair flow or other developers application in your Docker environment. It's straightforward, it's easy and it's compartmentalized your work so that even if you need to update or renew any of the applications, you can do them separately without interfering with each other. So our Docker has been downloaded. Yeah, our Docker desktop is right here. So we go to our download folder as described and here is the DMG. So double click on that and drag Docker into your applications just the way it was described and it's copying it into the application folder. So after that Docker is installed in our system. It's automatic. We don't have to even worry about it. So here in my application folder I should be able to find my Docker desktop. Where are you? A, B, C, D. Okay. There you go. So Docker is right here. All I have to do is double click on it and see it running. So there's really nothing much in it yet because we don't have anything downloaded yet uh -huh. from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Open. There's nothing in there yet. So we have to 
we have to download so many applications that we need to use for instance i'll be downloading hair flow very soon um, i've done that on my um microsoft os so yeah so all done welcome to docker so let's sign up that's the way it is so i'm just gonna sign up username password and all that nothing much and docker will be up and running we are going to be doing the installation of the docker so from my application um folder click on the docker machine and then we we'll come here if you have signed up before you will be able to sign up if you have not signed up before you sign up here if you have not signed up before you sign up here or if you have signed up before like i have signed up already you just put in your username and your password and you'll be able to continue and even if you forget your password obviously you'll be able to see so yes that's it here is our docker environment and then we can start working you can see this is docker desktop you will see the containers you will see the images all these volumes build a uh, uh, dev environment and all this you will be able to use them when you actually have actual images and actual containers in here but at the moment i'm not going to be using it i want to um download my hair flow first using docker then i'll be back here so if you are somebody that have been trying to download docker for a long time i hope this is helpful um if you are also interested in knowing how to download hair flow which is a bit more technical than this um stay tuned and stay connected so i'm gonna be downloading i'm gonna be installing hair flow into using the docker desktop and i'm gonna be working with the hair flow so if you are also somebody that you are interested in that, stay tuned and stay connected. Click on the like button, subscribe and um, follow this page so that we can take this journey together. Um, I've not been recording so many things that I've thought of that, but this is also a good place to start. So if you are on this journey and you are trying to install your docker you are trying to install um, airflow and all that um, then this is the place for you let's hope that i have the time and the strength to pull this off so i'll see you guys in the next video bye -ya. see ya <laughs>